Christina Irami was a beacon of warmth and joy. She had traveled across continents, leaving her native Romania to embrace the American dream. She found her calling in the halls of Appalachie High School in Winder, Georgia. There, she became a beloved math teacher, her classroom a haven of encouragement and learning. Christina had a gift for making even the most complex equations understandable, her patience as boundless as her energy. Students gravitated towards her radiant smile and infectious laughter. She wasn't just a teacher, she was a mentor, a confidant, a friend. Christina believed in nurturing young minds and igniting a passion for knowledge. She saw potential in every student, encouraging them to reach for their dreams. Her classroom was a testament to her dedication, filled with colorful posters, student artwork, and words of encouragement. Math is fun, proclaimed a sign above the whiteboard, a testament to her optimistic spirit. Little did anyone know that this sanctuary of learning would soon become the scene of an unspeakable tragedy. October 31st, 2023. A day that began with the promise of celebration turned into a nightmare. It was Christina's 52nd birthday. She had brought cake and pizza for her students, eager to share a slice of happiness with them. The air buzzed with excitement as they gathered around, their laughter echoing through the hallways. But in a horrifying instant, the joyous atmosphere was shattered. Gunshots, screams, chaos erupted as a 14-year-old student opened fire, transforming a day of celebration into a scene of unimaginable horror. Christina, caught in the crossfire, never had a chance. Her life, dedicated to education and nurturing young minds, was cut tragically short. The scent of pizza and birthday cake mingled with the acrid smell of gunpowder, a chilling testament to the senseless violence that had invaded their sanctuary. Amidst the chaos and terror, acts of courage and selflessness shone through. Richard Aspinwall, a fellow math teacher and beloved football coach, instinctively shielded students with his own body. He paid the ultimate price, sacrificing his life to protect those entrusted to his care. His heroism became a symbol of hope in the face of unimaginable loss. Two young students, Mason Shermerhorn and Christian Angulo, both just 14 years old, were also caught in the hail of bullets. Their futures, full of promise and potential, were stolen in an instant. Mason, a gifted artist with a gentle soul, and Christian, known for his infectious laugh and kind heart, became symbols of innocence lost. Their names, forever etched in the memory of Appalachie High, serve as a painful reminder of the devastating consequences of gun violence. The news of the shooting sent shockwaves through Winder, Georgia. A community known for its southern charm and tight-knit bonds was left reeling in grief and disbelief. Parents clung desperately to their children, their worst nightmares realized. The hallways of Appalachie High, once filled with the joyful cacophony of teenage life, fell silent, shrouded in an eerie stillness. The heart of Winder was broken. The town square, usually bustling with activity, became a place of mourning, adorned with flowers, candles, and messages of grief. The faces of Christina, Richard, Mason, and Christian, their smiles frozen in time, stared out from posters and banners, a heartbreaking reminder of the lives senselessly lost. Section 5. Christina's Legacy, A Life Lived for Others In the wake of tragedy, stories of Christina's kindness and compassion poured out like rays of sunshine piercing through the darkness. Former students, colleagues, and friends shared anecdotes that painted a picture of a woman who lived to inspire and uplift others. She was remembered for her infectious laugh, her unwavering belief in her students, and her ability to make even the most challenging concepts seem attainable. She had this aura about her, a warmth that just drew you in, recalled Sarah, a former student. She made me believe in myself, even when I doubted my own abilities. Another student, Michael, added, she wasn't just our teacher, she was our friend, our confidant. She genuinely cared about each and every one of us. Their words, echoing the sentiments of countless others, painted a poignant picture of a life lived in service of others, a legacy that would forever inspire generations to come. Section 6. Remembering Richard, the coach who shielded his students. Richard Aspinwall, affectionately known as Coach Aspie, was more than just a teacher and a coach. He was a pillar of the Appalachie community. He embodied the spirit of selflessness, always putting the needs of others before his own. His actions on that tragic day, shielding students from harm, 
were a testament to his courageous spirit and unwavering dedication to his students. He was the kind of man who would give you the shirt off his back, said John, a close friend and fellow coach. He loved those kids like they were his own, and he didn't hesitate for a second to protect them. Students remembered him as a mentor, a confidant, and a source of unwavering support. He believed in us even when we didn't believe in ourselves, said David, a former student athlete. He taught us the true meaning of teamwork, both on and off the field. Section 7. Mason and Christian Young Lives Cut Short Mason Shermerhorn and Christian Angelo, their lives tragically cut short, were remembered for their infectious smiles, their kind hearts, and the boundless potential they possessed. Mason, a talented artist, had a gift for capturing the beauty of the world around him. His drawings, filled with vibrant colors and intricate details, adorned the hallways of Appalachee High, a testament to his creativity and gentle spirit. Christian, known for his infectious laughter and compassionate nature, had a knack for making everyone around him feel loved and accepted. He was a loyal friend, a supportive classmate, and a shining light in the lives of those who knew him. Their absence left a void in the hearts of their families, friends, and the entire Appalachee community. A constant reminder of the preciousness of life and the devastating consequences of senseless violence. Section 8. The Ripple Effect of Grief The impact of the Appalachee High School shooting extended far beyond the walls of the school, sending ripples of grief and trauma throughout the community and beyond. Parents grappled with the unimaginable pain of losing a child, their hearts shattered into a million pieces. Students struggled to comprehend the senseless violence that had invaded their safe haven, their innocence stolen in a hail of gunfire. The community rallied around the victims' families, offering support, solace, and a shoulder to cry on. Vigils were held, memorials were erected, and funds were established to honor the memories of those lost and to provide support for the survivors. Yet, the scars of that tragic day remained, a haunting reminder of the fragility of life and the urgent need to address the epidemic of gun violence plaguing the nation. Section 9. Seeking Answers, Demanding Change In the aftermath of the shooting, the community grappled with a whirlwind of emotions, grief, anger, confusion, and a profound sense of loss. Questions swirled like a tempest. Why did this happen? Could it have been prevented? How can we prevent this from happening again? The tragedy ignited a fierce debate about gun control, school safety, and the underlying issues that contribute to gun violence. Students, parents, teachers, and community members came together, their voices uniting in a chorus of anguish and outrage. They demanded stricter gun control measures, increased mental health resources, and a comprehensive approach to addressing the root causes of violence. Their pleas for change resonated throughout the nation, sparking a renewed sense of urgency to address this pressing issue. Section 10. Honoring their memory, fighting for a safer future. The tragedy at Appalachee High School served as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of inaction. The loss of Christina Irami, Richard Aspinwall, Mason Shermerhorn, and Christian Angelo left an unfillable void in the hearts of those who knew and loved them, their absence a constant ache. Yet from the depths of despair emerged a glimmer of hope, a collective determination to honor their memory by fighting for a safer future. Students, inspired by the courage of their fallen classmates and teachers, channeled their grief into activism, organizing rallies, marches, and voter registration drives. They vowed to be the generation that finally put an end to gun violence, their voices echoing the words of the late Congressman John Lewis, get in good trouble, necessary trouble, and help redeem the soul of America. Section 11, Christina's light shines on. Though Christina Irami is gone, her spirit lives on in the countless lives she touched. Her legacy of love, compassion, and unwavering dedication to education continues to inspire. In the hearts of her students, she ignited a passion for learning that no bullet could extinguish. Her memory serves as a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the face of darkness, the light of kindness and compassion can never be extinguished. The Romanian sunbeam who brightened the halls of Appalachee High School may be gone, but her light continues to shine on, illuminating the path toward a brighter, safer